Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, that means you picked the crystal ball candlestick for your trash panda treasure box. So you're gonna have four uh, transparency shapes and you're gonna be able to draw on those. You've got your candlestick, you've got your crystal ball, you should have a sponge on a stick, a sponge not on a stick, permanent marker and some black paint and some silver paint. And basically uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to paint the whole candlestick black, the wooden part of the candlestick. And it's not gonna take a whole lot of paint and the wood should take the paint pretty good. So you can double coat it if you want to. It, it won't take that long to dry either. Just make sure that you use kind of the chisel tip of that brush to make sure that you are getting paint in all of the cracks and crannies. You just want to make sure that there isn't really any, any wood left. And you can dab it, you can swipe it, um, whatever it takes to kind of get that paint on there. And then when you're ready to do the top, you're going to kind of dab it around. And then as it's standing on its own, you can kind of tap the top and get that black all the way around. Once it's dry, we'll talk about the silver part. So I'm going to finish up this black bit. Okay. When we're ready for the silver, you're gonna use the silver paint and the square sponge and you really just like, you don't want very much of that at all. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna dab most of that off onto my newspaper. And then you're gonna look at any part that kind of juts out. So any part that's an edge, any part that, you know, would kind of catch the light and you're gonna kind of very lightly dab it on. I may even cover some of that with some more black when I'm finished. You just wanna kind of give it that antique rustic look like it's, been in the family for years and probably has some great stories to tell about its history. Um, so I'll, I'll add some around here. Like I said, just any part that kind of is out an edge that would catch light. Okay, we'll let that dry. You should have four of these and basically what you're going to do is draw whatever image or letter, shape, um, that you want to cut out inside that black line so it'll look like this when you cut it out and if you roll it up kind of make a cylinder of that paper it should go right inside your plastic ball and once it's in there it should open back up you might have to trim down the sides a little bit and when you're finished you should be able to pull the little tab at the end and it should pop right out and you can put a new image in